Now before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart out of this world to the Father, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. During supper, when the devil had already put it into the heart of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, to betray him, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands, and that he had come from God and was going back to God, rose from supper. He laid aside his outer garments, and taking a towel, tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet, and to wipe them with the towel that was wrapped around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, do you wash my feet? Jesus answered him, What I am doing you do not understand now, but afterward you will understand. Peter said to him, you shall never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, If I do not wash you, you have no share with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also are to love one another. By this, all people will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, where are you going? Jesus answered him, Where I am going, you cannot follow me now, but you will follow afterward. Peter said to him, Lord, why can I not follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Jesus answered, Will you lay down your life for me? Truly, truly, I say to you, the rooster will not crow till you have denied me three times. And what are you going to do with all that fish? Like I said, I, I really don't know. Sir, is there even a market for such a mother load? I guess we'll find out. Do you have the manpower to process two boatloads of fish? Well, James and John will help, and there are others. And what about the nets? We'll get to the nets. If not today, then... You're just going to leave them there? My priority today is to find that man. What he said was incredible. So, excuse me. Uh, sir, 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 the fish are going to rot. This isn't about the fish. Well, you could at least sell them and give the money to the poor. It was never about those fish. If he could make two ton of mush to surface from the deep at midday, everything about that's impossible. I'm sure he could preserve and distribute them if he wanted. That wasn't the point. It wasn't about the fish. It was about the fishing. And although I've known fishing all my life, scavenging the shallows in the pitch of night or dragging a trammel net that I stitched myself, that day he caught me, hook, line, and sinker. No, I, I really don't know what he was fishing for out in the deep. Because you, uh, you normally don't go out there. No, there's no fish out there. So you went because he... He asked. At midday, when the boats are dark. And I'm normally in bed? Yeah, I, I know it didn't make any sense. So, um, tell me, what does a Nazarene know about fishing? <laughs> Nothing. He's never been out on the lake. 
So you you went because he he asked. That makes no sense. After your shift, after no success all night. And I was tired. I I know, but he asked. So tell me, what was he fishing for? Me, I guess. You. He got you. It's ironic, isn't it? Huh. The fisher becomes the fished. Great headline. The fisher becomes the fished to fish for something other than fish. You sound uh, trapped. No, not really. Well caught. No. Like a fish. No. Netted. No. Entangled. No, I'm not in entangled. I chose to follow. Why'd you choose to look like a fool? The only boat. I chose to follow. He asked. I went. And if he asked you to fish on dry land? <laughs> I'd be the first one out in the desert. Well, isn't that foolish? No. That's faith. I know I'm fishing in deep water, chasing after a carpenter who happens to heal diseases and rebuke demons, Joseph's kid from Nazareth. I've asked myself a million times, is this for real? Yet, honestly, I don't feel trapped. I kind of trust him. Heck, if he said jump, I'd probably jump. I just don't want to live in fear. I know too many fearful people who, who've never learned to trust. Oh sure, they appear strong behind their convictions and dogmas and doctrine and... But have they ever really asked the deep questions? He took me out into the deep. And I had questions. And he said to me, Peter, you know that there's no real satisfaction in shallow living. I don't know where this type of fishing leads, but ultimately, Faith is trust, right? Trusting there's no reason to fear if there's love. You don't really look the part of, you know, uh, a rabbinic disciple. There's a look? I mean, you might convince me on the proper flax for a net or the right stone for an anchor, but what does a fisherman know about... Excuse me, there's a look? Yeah, I mean, I thought a, a priest or a rabbi would, would go for that long, robed <laughs> disciple look. We don't care for such formality. Well, pardon me, but you don't seem to care much about rabbinic law either. He's not against Washing the... your hands, keeping the Sabbath... He's not against the law. He's come to... And you? Do you care? I mean, you still look and smell like a fisherman. I am a fisherman. I know how to fish, so I'm asked to fish. Just not for fish. And the rest of your party? What about the rest of your party? What are they asked to do? Siphon taxes and play the harlot? Pardon me? Well, if you're a fisherman and you're asked to fish, what are a tax collector and a prostitute asked to do? We're all asked to do the same thing, to follow. We're, we're disciples. Even those of ill repute? Today's sinner, yesterday's sinner, tomorrow's sinner. We fish for people. People come with all kinds of baggage. So why are the sinners so attracted? We're 
attracted to unconditional love. Are you a sinner? I'm a grievous sinner. No more obvious than when I stood waist high and no, no, fish in no, this no, boat. No. I mean, I, are you a sinner like the rest? Like the rest? Well, like the rest, I am loved. And your sin? What about your grievous sin? Forgiven. Unconditionally loved by God, like the rest. Everyone's loved. Loved, yes. Everyone. Well, not only loved, but gifted and called. Really? Well, it may not be obvious to you. It may not be self-evident. It may be... Foolish. It may be foolish. Well, perhaps God's love is foolish. Yes. Yes, if it's that inclusive, yes it is. And when it embraces both me and you, I've got to believe that God likes questions. God loves questioners. The curious, even the cynic. I've got questions. Like, why was I called away from my boat to fish? That doesn't make any sense. Or how does my personal encounter thrust me into a motley community of followers? I hate group projects. Yet his unconventional dry land fishing nets, Pharisees and Samaritans and political activists and women and lepers and healed demoniacs and, I mean, you name it. All with personal encounters and questions of their own. And, and, and somehow forms community. Where I thought there was no fish, there was a lot of fish. Many more than any one boat could hold. So it really, it really is about the fish. I mean, not the, the rotting carcasses on that fateful day, and, and not about the moose you used to catch, but... Yeah, you're right. Uh, it is about us, about the fish, and about the motley community we're becoming. Like a school of fish, you might say. <laughs> yeah, school of fish, nice. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're learning. We're learning it's about us, and it's not about us at all. What do you mean? Well, we're, fish are called the fish, right? So it's about the fish, and it is about the fishing. The fish and the fished. The fish and the fished who fish. <laughs> <laughs> the fish, fish and the, the fish, fish who fished fish fish for, for fish. fish. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> Honestly, it's about both the fish and the fishing. Because it's certainly about the fish. Or why else did he ask me, Peter, do you love me? Inviting love after my denial and violence. So it's, it's definitely about the fish. He still catches me. But it's also about the fishing. Or why else did he call me to fish for disciples? Inviting discipleship after my defiance and doubt. So it, it's definitely about the fishing also. Because he still calls me. Catches and calls you too, I imagine. Caught and called together, you and me, into this wonderful group project, into this motley community of faith. Will you join us? So get in the boat, it's a fine way to float on the deep sea of life that surrounds you. All together you'll go through a seas, you'll row with Jesus, the captain beside you. Let Jesus be captain beside you.